Let's make a gun in Unity. So it's been done a thousand times before, but today I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to make a hit scan gun and a projectile gun in one. Let's go. So I'm going to start by making a cube that's going to represent our gun and just add something for the gun. We'll just go ahead and call it gun. And we're going to start off the projectile gun. So go to create, or actually go to your scene and go to 3D object and go to sphere and then take the sphere and rename it to something like projectile and refab it. Then we can delete it from our scene at a rigid body. Also on our projectile, we want to make sure we use continuous dynamic instead of discrete or bolts will go through walls. And on our gun, we want to remove any colliders. And now for the easy part, the code. Just go ahead and write a private void. This is a new function. We're going to do create projectile. And that's going to have a game object called bullet. And that's just going to instantiate, which is going to spawn. And up here, we're going to go ahead and make the variable for that. Because I hate when people make variables without explaining them as they code, instead of just writing all the variables first, which makes no sense. So then we're going to make the projectile, that's the game object that we're going to spawn at the transform position of the gun. And the Kernian identity for rotation, which is just the default. And then we're going to do rigid body, rb equals bullet dot get component rigid body. And then if, and then another variable, serialized field private, pull, use projectile grav. Fit t. Go ahead and set that to true. And if we are, then we use gravity. If we aren't, then we don't use gravity. And then we're going to need one more function, or variable rather. Serialized field, private, and then we're going to make this a float, and this is going to be the range projectile speed. Let's set that to something like 100, and then we're going to get the rigid body and do add force. And game object transform dot forward for the direction and then times the range projectile speed and for force mode we'll just do regular force and then in the update just do if input dot get key down and we'll just make that space for now and then we'll create the projectile and then I've already done it before so just go ahead and grab your projectile and put it in the gun and then click play. You see it's kind of just falling because the speed's not high enough so we'll set it to something like 500. There we go now it's shooting. Okay so go ahead and make another function called fire hit scan and then we're going to do if physics ah, if physics dot raycast and then transform position which remember is this object and then transform forward, which is forward from this object, and then out. I don't know why I did RB there. We need raycast hit, hit, and then we will make a range here called the hit scan range, as well as a layer mask called the hit scan layers. And whoops, I kind of messed up there. Make sure you have hit scan range and then hit scan layers right there. And then we're going to whoop, debug dot log hit oh whoops hit collider dot game object dot name to get the name of what we hit and then up here we're gonna add one more variable make it a pool and we'll call this use hit scan and then if we use hit scan we'll do fire hit scan and if we're not we'll use projectile what's wrong here Oops, use hit scan equals, sure. There we go. To see the raycast, we can do private void on draw gizmos and do gizmos color and we'll make it red. And gizmos dot draw line. Yep, transform position and we want to do transform plus the direction times the range and then that will give us a little visual uh, your hit scan layers will start off as nothing go ahead and apply the layers you want to hit so something usually will go ahead and make a layer I got a cube here make sure what you're hitting has a collider and we'll do enemy layer we'll go ahead and set this to and now when I press space nothing what's wrong something is wrong. 
Oh, right, we made a new layer. Make sure you switch it to enemy, and then click play, and there we go. Now it's hitting the enemy. If I rename this to like enemy cube, show us it is hitting the enemy cube. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any more future videos.